What's up, what's up? Welcome back to Cooking with Chef Tony. Today we're gonna to be making some broccoli and cheddar soup. Oh, it's gonna be so good, it's one of my favorites. The weather's breaking, it's getting cold. This is the perfect bowl, perfect cup, perfect pot of soup. It really will warm you up. All right, y'all ready? Cause I'm hungry talking about it. Let's get it. All right, we're back. So what I'm starting off with is, I got a fourth cup of butter here in this saucepan. Just gonna melt that and make a little roux. So the roux is equal parts butter, equal parts flour. So I'm gonna let this melt a little bit. Excuse the noise, y'all. I'm at work well, after hours. Yeah. Definitely wanted to use their kitchen because I love the stove and it's big and it's you know different setting. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I have about uh, either half a cup or three fourths of a cup. Either way, it's half of an onion chopped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute that in the butter. And I'm gonna saute the onions and the butter before I put the flour in. So this is gonna saute for about, about two to three minutes or until the onions start to become a little translucent, but not you know, not too see-through, not too soft, I should say. All right, so the onions are nice and sauteed, as you can see. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this half cup of flour. <laughs> Definitely wanna whisk it so that there's no lumps. Whisk it all together and I will cook this for about maybe a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. But you don't want it to burn, but you don't want that flour taste to be in there. You want to cook the flour um, with the butter. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe too. That's the part. All right, so my roux is all ready. So right now what I'm gonna do is add in two cups of chicken stock. Stir this up a little bit. Y'all, am I looking in the camera right? Where am I looking at? Here? Okay, look over here. Sorry about that. All right, go ahead and stir it up a little bit. All right, go ahead and follow right behind that chicken broth with two cups of half and half. going to do is let this thicken up for maybe I'd say give or take maybe two or three minutes let it thicken up a little bit and then we're going to spice it up we're going to add in our broccoli and our carrots and if you see that it's not enough liquid if you want it or it's too thick you can always adjust the uh, measurements for the broth and for the half So now we're ready to add in our broccoli and our shredded carrots. I chopped the broccoli up a little smaller, so it's gonna cook down a little faster. Then we're gonna cook this for about, say about 15 minutes. And then you wanna also uh, always check on it to make sure it's not getting too thick. If it gets too thick, you can always add in some more half and half or chicken broth. All right, so. For seasonings I use Garlic powder, black pepper, a little paprika, some salt, uh, and something else. I'll put it in, I'll put it down in the comments for you. Alright, so we're gonna let this 
simmer for about 15 minutes. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like before it's done. And you don't add the cheese in until the end, otherwise it will definitely curdle and you'll have cottage cheese soup. All right, so the soup is done. The last step is to add in this sharp cheddar. You can use any kind of cheese you want. And I'm eyeballing it right now, but I'll add in about half a cup of cheddar. You can add in more or less if you want. Stir this bad boy up. I'm gonna add in some more cheese. Put more cheese in here. This is how it looks. And again, if it's too thick for your liking, you can always thin it out with some half and half or some chicken broth. And I actually forgot my immersion blender. So I got a, a masher and I just mashed it up. So that's why it may look a little chunkier than it normally would. All right, let's just give it a little try here. The cheese does the It's pretty good, y'all. It's pretty, pretty good. Hot, but it's good. store I'm starting a new challenge this week I'm going completely vegan well vegan slash vegetarian but I'm trying no meat trying none of that no fried food so I'm headed to my sister's house now she's kicking it off the first day and she's cooking so y'all pray for your boy because you know I'm gonna want some fried fish chicken something all right I'll see y'all peace all right so I'm walking up it's getting kind of cold out here, y'all. Okay, the door's open. Oh, wait. It's locked. Oh my gosh. Deshaun said All it right. was open. All right, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Include that, and I just got it. All right, guys, this is it. 14. This is, what is this, Breezy? It's a spaghetti squash burrito bowl mm, and is what vegan well vegetarian vegetarian because it got cheese and sour yeah. Panther, do that over no it's a vlog yeah, people like that they like raw and real real and raw all right y'all i'm gonna show you the ending results